So you're thinking about moving to the University District neighborhood in Missoula, Montana? Maybe you've heard of the University District right by the University of Montana, and you're curious to see and learn more about the area? In this video, I'm gonna take you on a walking tour of the University District and take you around the whole area. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you three homes in three different price points. That way you can see if this neighborhood is the best one for you. Whether you're a first time viewer or a long time subscriber, I'm Diana Filkins from Living in Missoula, Montana. We receive countless calls, texts, and emails from people just like you seeking assistance with their move to this amazing city. We're here to help you make a smooth transition, whether you're moving in a few days or a few months. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. All our contact information is provided in the description box below. Get ready to discover the wonders of Missoula, Montana. Let's dive right in. Nestled in the heart of Missoula, the University District spans approximately 1.2 square miles with nearly 5,000 residents. The University District is a neighborhood that is located south of the Clark Fork River, east of South Higgins Avenue, and north of Patty Canyon Creek. And it is west of Campus Drive. Now let's talk about the housing market in the University District. The average home in the University District is $732,000, which is up 1.8% over the past year. You'll find 60% of the homes were built between 1940 and 1969, adding a touch of historic elegance to the neighborhood. It's also worth noting that 70% of residents own their own homes, making it a great place for a long-term investment. One key highlight of the University District is its proximity to essential amenities. Situated less than five miles from downtown Missoula, you'll have easy access to a variety of dining, shopping, and cultural experiences. For travelers, Missoula's International Airport is just a quick 10 mile, 15 minute drive away. Plus, the Mountain Lion bus service runs through the neighborhood, ensuring you're well connected to the rest of the city. For families, education is a top priority and the University District delivers. This neighborhood is served by the Missoula County Public Schools, including the highly regarded Lewis and Clark Elementary School, which is right outside the neighborhood's boundary. Paxton Elementary, also a Missoula County Public School, Primrose, Montessori, and the University of Montana are within the neighborhood's boundary. The University of Montana attracts a diverse global population to Missoula, boasting around 80,000 residents. Students benefit from a world-class education covering a wide spectrum of subjects, including arts, sciences, trades, graduate and postdoctoral. There's also professional training on campus. The University of Montana ranks 17th in the nation and fifth among public universities in producing Rhodes Scholars, 11 Truman Scholars, 14 Goldwater Scholars, and 40 Udell Scholars to its name. One of its alums, Harold Ure, has won the Nobel Prize.
finding value in this video, then go ahead and give that like button a click. It helps bring more of Missoula's charm to you. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you won't miss a beat on all things Missoula, Montana. Now back to the university district and the community. When it comes to healthcare, residents here have access to some of the top medical facilities in the region. Providence, St. Patrick's Hospital, and Community Hospital are both a short drive away. Diversity and local businesses contribute to a thriving economy in the university district. I'm a sucker for a cute and charming coffee shop like Grizzly Espresso, Think Tank Coffee Shop, Rise and Rooter, and Tandem Bakery and Cafe. Besides the university's cafeteria, cleverly named the Food Zoo, there's only one other restaurant within the neighborhood's boundary, Iron Grizz American Bistro, right by Campbell Park. Not to worry though, the university district is minutes from many more options, including one of my favorite coffee and brunch places, Clyde Coffee. Mmm, delicious. There's homemade bagel sandwiches and fancy lattes there to die for. There are four parks in this neighborhood. Jacobs Island, a dog park, Tool Park, Bonner Park, and Madison Park. Bonner is one of my favorites. three homes at three different price points in the University District. All right, we're coming up on our first house, which is currently for sale, listed at 615,000. It's actually the cheapest house that's currently for sale in this entire neighborhood. I don't wanna to get too close because the neighbor is mowing their yard, so you probably won't be able to hear me. But we're coming up on it. It's a one bed, one bath, listed at 615,000. It's just a pinch over a thousand square feet and it's very cute inside. It has a gas fireplace and great tile work in the kitchen and in the bathroom. It's this house right back here. It's very cute with open shelving in the kitchen. This would be a great investment for you or you can rent it out to students from the university because the university is just one block that way. I'm gonna hop in my car and let's take a driving tour until we get to the next house. So we are coming up on our second house in the University District. It's actually a condo. It's currently for sale sitting at 795,000. It's three bed, one and a half bath. It's actually on a pretty busy street 
it's a one-way street as well and it's a end unit with a basement. Now what's really cool about this condo that's coming up, we're almost there, is that it's Airbnb approved. We are just a few short minutes away from the university so the location is awesome. There it is. That's the entrance to the condo. Like I was saying, it's just a few short minutes away from the university. So the location is prime, but you're definitely paying for it. Okay, this condo was built in 1920 and it was recently remodeled in 2013. It looks so cute inside with exposed brick, hardwood floor, and a very updated modern kitchen. It also has a one car garage because street parking would be an absolute nightmare on this one way street. It's pretty busy as you can probably hear as I'm walking and talking. So I would hate to do any street parking. And it wouldn't be fun to host any parties as well. So that's what you get for 795,000. All right. We are coming up on our third house. It is this beauty right over, wait for it, wait for it, we're getting there. It's this house coming up right here. It's currently under contract at 1,850,000. It's five bedrooms, three and a half bath. There it is. And um, it's about 5,600 square feet. It's beautiful inside. Definitely you can tell that it's an older home. It was built in 1925. It definitely has that craftsman historic feel on the inside. The kitchen could use an upgrade, but there's a ton of beautiful details all throughout the house. It has exposed brick on the inside, a beautiful gas fireplace, and it even features a guest house which has one large bedroom and one bathroom, and it has beautiful vaulted ceilings. It sits on about half an acre of flat land, and it's just minutes to the university. University District is a neighborhood that combines historic charm, modern convenience, top-tier education,
top-notch healthcare facilities, a robust housing market, and a thriving local economy. I hope you've enjoyed our in-depth tour of this remarkable neighborhood. Before we wrap up, let's touch on the financial aspects. Montana boasts one of the lowest property rates in the U.S., standing at just 0.83%. While the cost of living in Missoula is slightly above the national average, it offsets by the high quality of life, abundant community amenities. If you have any questions, need more information about the University District, the University of Montana, or moving to Missoula, please feel free to reach out to us. Here at Living in Missoula, Montana, we're always ready to assist you with your move. If you found value in this video, then go ahead and give that like button a click. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on all the amazing content about Missoula, Montana.